What is up, Guardians? Blitzfire and I want to hear back with the fourth video in the Destiny Vault of Glass tutorial series. And today we are doing the Templar from both the Snipers and the Relic Hunters, uh, Relic Holders point of view, rather. This is not salvage. Um, we'll just do a brief one on the sniping because it's pretty straightforward. Shoot Oracles. Uh, if you're right where I'm at right now, you shoot a Hobgoblin. And then you shoot Templar when the uh, Relic Holder shoots the weird blue energy blast from the shield to him so here we go all right i am up on the left side for this particular one all right there's an oracle on the right so the guys on the right shoot it pretty simple and you uh we'll show you what the relic guy's doing here in a little bit we just wait for his super to be charged so we can drop the templar and it sh should be about there There he goes, he drops him, we wait for the retainment shield, blast it, whip out the rockets, and go to town. Now if you have a full team of galleys, you can actually drop him before he teleports most of the time. But be careful, because if you shoot your, and then you got oracles here. And like I was saying, if you shoot yourself with a ro uh, rocket when the detainment shield is up, you will kill yourself. Alright, and now for the relic side. Alright, you want to grab the relic, come back here. This is my favorite spot to hang out. Uh, the relic holder will be in charge of this one oracle that spawns right where I'm standing. Because the guys up top won't be able to shoot that one very easily. Basically, you want to kill as many of the harpies as you can because they charge your super faster. And your super is what you choose to drop the shield that the Templar has. See, super is charged. Now what you want to do is make sure he's not shooting any. Jump up and shoot the super at him. Just like you would activate your super on... Uh, your regular character with R1 and L1 or on Xbox it would be right bumper left bumper now if you stand in these rings and don't fail uh, you can keep the Templar from teleporting and he will just shit, sit there with his shield down yeah that was almost bad um, it's pretty simple um, when you do go to block his teleport you want to hold L1 and then put this little bubble up around you so you can't get hit from outside the bubble butt, bubble, 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 butt, bubble, 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 butt. Bubble butt, bubble, 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 butt. Well, that was a fail again, and he teleported to me. You can get hit from inside the bubble. So if something comes in the bubble, it can kill you. Uh, just keep killing oracles, helping your teammate, kill harpies. Uh, don't die, because if you die down here, it's pretty much a wipe for everybody. Every time you're supercharged, make sure you tell your team before you shoot the super at the Templar because later I forget to mention that I'm dropping the Templar uh, and one of my teammates was in midair and he got detained and fell out of his bubble and died so we did it ended up doing it without him alive so just make sure uh, when you're gonna shoot him just yell just or not yell just say dropping uh, Templar dropping Templar and then shoot that's usually what I do and if you don't know where he's at, just ask your team, say, where's he at? They'll tell you where he's at so you know where to go to shoot him. Now, when your entertainment shield comes over through relic, just hit X and then R2. Now, you won't jump very high, so you have to hit R2 pretty quick, but you'll do a little quick ground slam and pop the bubble or the uh, detainment shield off you really fast, really easy. Now, when those harpies over there get too heavy to where you can't even walk out, you might have your teammates shoot at them. Just uh, call out, say, hey, I need you to clear harpies on the left. It'll be their left and have them shoot them if you need to. Uh, right. and this is the oracle I was telling you about that you are in charge of because you now your fire team members will be able to shoot it very easily. All right, there's the one where I forgot to call out that I was dropping him and some, uh, I think Benexus was in mid air, yeah. And he got uh, killed because he got detained and he fell out of his bubble. So remember to always call out when you're about to shoot him. Oh, and if you block a teleport of the Templar, it spawns a Minotaur. So if you block it, you need to watch out for Minotaur. It usually comes straight out the bottom in front of me there. It comes around this side where those two harpies are. And he'll just stand there. Now, if you come around the corner, he might walk to you. It's um, two hits with the R2 or right trigger on Xbox to kill the Minotaur. So it's pretty easy. Well, 
sure they were gonna get the oracles though. But they're usually pretty good about it, so. Dropping Templar, dropping Templar. And there's not much else to this guy. You just keep doing this rotation until uh, you kill the Templar. Now, oh, up there, up top, if he teleports to one of those closest positions, uh, he will shoot at the guys up top, so they just want to hide back in the back until I drop him, and then they'll step forward. Or at least go to the opposite side that he's on, like diagonal. If he's on the left, they should be on the right. If he's on the right, they should be on the left. Just watch, and com pretty common sense if he shoots at you, move. Um, when he is to the left of where he's at right now, up on that ledge, the guys up top will have a hard time shooting him, so that's pretty much going to be uh, time to just sit back and recoup. Because the, I think the only guy up there that can shoot him is the guy that's on the uh, left from their perspective. Because, you know, they're still up there staggered to shoot oracles. Alright, here's the Minotaur I was telling you about. Two hits, just be careful because they kill you pretty quick. There's a mud another Minotaur over there, but he's leaving me alone, so I'm not going to go mess with him unless I have to. Alright, and where the Templars right now is where I was telling you about. The, it's hard for them to shoot him here, so you're going to drop it, and a couple of them might be able to shoot him, but we don't do much damage on him in this position. And we usually don't have a problem with Enrage Timer, even if we have a few new people in here with us so I wouldn't worry too much about moving to to be able to hit him as you saw there he is almost dead uh, this I think the hit with the uh, super from the relic will actually kill him on this next one so as soon as my super gets charged I'll probably kill him in one hit all right it's charged and you be careful he's shooting at you just wait for him to start to do that little animation and he will stop shooting and I drop. All right, he is down, and that's all there is to Relic. Um, it's pretty easy, so if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I will be bringing more Vault of Glass videos, uh, including the Gorgon Maze, Jumping Puzzle, Gatekeepers, and Atheon, both how to use the Relic and how to shoot the Oracles, as well as how to defend the outside of the portals. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you later.